the different political ideologies in certain cold field town council of course clashes among leaders. This has left people questioning if the town council is run with their interested heart or it is now a house for settling political scores. For these four reasons, and with a hugely sad heart, I am now resigning from Sutton Colville Town Council. Former councillor Claire Bennett resigned after allegations of bullying and party politics to be taking centre stage in council meetings. She told the council the way it was operated was not conducive for her to be the voice of the Trinity Ward people who entrusted her with their vote. That um, in the agenda it says that there will be, the press and public will be excluded when we are going to discuss um, things of a confidential or commercial nature. And one time I just thought, you know what, I knew what it was going to be and I thought, well, I'll abstain. It's a, it's a thing I can do. I know that it will be voted through, but it was a little objection. And I got into serious trouble. I was shouted at as if I was a child and told that I wasn't allowed to abstain. And I said, but it's not a vote then, is it? If it's a vote and you have to vote yes, it's not a vote. I don't care what the standing orders say. A vote is you can vote yes, you can vote no, or you can abstain. And apparently I'm wrong. So that was the thing that made me think there's something rotten in the state of Sutton Coalfield. You know? The Conservatives make up the majority of Sutton Coldfield Council at 79%. Their decisions are seen as a gang up against the voice of the minority politicians. The major bone of contention arises on matters to do with the use of funds. One such major issue was the decision to stage the concert in the park. Most councillors outside the Conservatives, including aspiring councillor Ben Oton, believe this was an extravagant decision. There are other bigger issues that require attention first. So cuts to um, cuts to the policing fund so that we are now looking at losing our police station, uh, the loss of our town hall, uh, the shrinking of our libraries and, uh, and even um, Citizens Advice Bureau it seems to be struggling. Independent councillor Paul Long summed it up as this. Quite simply they don't know what they're doing. But being part of the council, the non-conservative councillors cannot attribute the town council's failures just to the Tories. It is a collective effort. So we've tried working with the Conservatives right from the beginning. We had a really good work working relationship with David Pears when he was council leader. Things changed when the new council leader, Simon Wood, took over. He made it very clear that he was going to treat us as opposition councillors. Independents for Saturn, Greens, Labour and Liberal Democrats revealed that they will be fielding a maximum of 24 candidates between them for the 24 town council seats available for elections. They have committed to working collaboratively with all councillors, irrespective of political affiliation. Among the candidates pushing for this alliance is Liberal Democrat candidate for Trinity Ward, Jenny Wilkinson. At the very local level of, of town councils and parish councils, I don't think that there's a real need for much party politics. I think it's about um, individuals expressing their views and, and representing the people of the town. Um, and I think, that's, I think that has been lacking over the last couple of years, and I'd like to see a change going forward. So I'm quite kind of hopeful that um, with this election we can get a, a sort of broader cross-section of, um, of representation to better represent the town. Although the non-conservative councillors are of the idea that there is need for collaboration, the conservatives have seen that collaboration is nothing but an opposition in the making. While there are accusations and counter-accusations in the council, what do the people of Sutton Coldfield think? What? most of us have just seen is the bickering that goes on in the local paper. So you see letters from one councillor saying the council hasn't been able to do this because of Birmingham and then you'll get the other councillors writing in and saying oh, the council hasn't been able to do this because the Conservatives all gang up. They say when two elephants fight it's the grass that suffers. The squabbles that are happening in the Sutton Coldfield Town Council affect people of this town the most, but they now have the power to re-elect and redefine the kind of leaders they want on, when elections come on 3 May. Grace Chirumanzu, Second City News.